Today we have very interesting theme. We will work in the decoration technique, imitation of bone carving, and we learn to draw gold. Within the limits of this program, we will combine these two techniques and will make with you here such wonderful rack. We very much hope that you will like this theme and you, by all means, will use our advices and recommendations that in your home or in homes of your friends there shortly will be something similar. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. We will imitate with you a bone carving and will create here such interesting work in pseudo-antique style. I think that many at once don't like the word imitation. After all, all of us know that it's translated from Latin as imitation of the mock and many don't like it. But if we apply this concept to art, it changes its meaning. For example, in times of classicism, imitation understood as imitation of nature, and in romanticism, imitation perceived as copying, in other words, reflection. In general, all isn't so bad and is quite noble. For example, in 17th century, the Dutch imitated the Chinese porcelain in faience. In 18th century, the German painters imitated the pictures of the Dutch and copied not only the manner, but also all technology, preparation of a board, a ground and glaze. In other words, the mankind knows firsthand what is imitation and is known it very long and close. From here, it turns out that imitation reproduces something original, but in other materials and techniques. And it's bad only when it becomes a forgery on which the fake signature or a stamp is appended. And if to look more broadly and to view many paintings, there are live imitation. By the way, the heyday of imitation came not so long ago, in 19th century, and it's connected directly with the industry development. During this period, began possible to imitate any materials and decor elements. For example, from plaster have begun to make stone, marble and an old tree, and from papier-mâché, bronze. Has a period galvanoplastics, which replaced embossing and castings, and many copies became in distinguishable from the original. On the one hand, it's certainly bad. There is a cheap replacement of true beauty. But if to look at it from the other side, we don't have another alternative after all on the earth. There are less and less natural materials, for example, such as valuable breeds of a tree or an ivory for the sake of which Despite several restrictions, all the same continue barbaric to destroy dozens of elephants. To make here such wreck with imitation of bone carving, at first it's necessary to prepare a preparation surface for work. We won't do anything new, all operations habitual, we always do them on a wooden surface. In other words, at first, by means of an emery paper, we polish it and level, and then ground. I've prepared here such preparation from thick plywood and I apply a ground on it by means of a flat synthetic brush, rubbing it well in the surface that it will sink. And while the ground dries, we can make decoupage. In other words, cut out from the decoupage card a fragment you liked. I've decided that my rack will decorate here such image in modern style. This is in Russian, and in French it will sound as Art Nouveau. The most famous artist of this school in art can be considered Alphonse Mucha, at least for those who enjoy decoupage it indeed. As on sale, there are a large number of decoupage cards and the rice paper with his drawings. However, as much works as it was at this famous master. I 
So, the word cut, you know, and habitually takes seizes. But no, they are not necessary today to us. More truly, I suggest to you to do without them. We take with you a model knife and a special self-repair drug for cutting, and by means of these devices we cut out our paper fragment. Why the work with the model knife is convenient? Because you easily can cut out with it help the smallest details, and that is the most remarkable, strict on a drawing contour. And another thing, if you need to cut out a fragment from the central part of the drawing, you don't need to pierce it at first, simply take and cut out, like this. And one more advice. If you work with any small or thin details, try to keep a knife from their base to the end. For example, we cut out the leaf like this. By the way, why the rug cutting is called self-repaired, you will understand when you finish the work. Look, there are no injuries. If you are happy with how you cut out the drawing and no one finger isn't damaged, can safely pass to the following stage of work. We take our preparation and by means of an emery paper polish its surface. It needs to be made as after layering, wood pile will rise, and the surface again becomes shaggy and unsuitable for gluing to it the decoupage motif. And after polishing, we take a container with water, dip into it our drawing for some minutes, that it's well soaked with moisture, then we take out it from water, put face away from ourselves on a sheet of a paper and apply on it glue for a decoupage. I advise you to glue using the same glue and preparation that on this place to glue a paper decor. And that the drawing will glue smoothly and well, I advise you to take the pinch roller and with it help to press it to expel the excess of glue and bubbles. If glue in drawing has dried up, we can safely pass to imitation of carving. In other words, we need to create a volume decor on the surface. We take a plastic stencil, put it to preparation and by means of a rubber spatula apply through it the acrylic relief paste of brown or terracotta color. I pay you attention that I've decided to decorate with the volume decor my rack thus. Therefore, at first, I make the stencil drawing on the one side, dry it and make on the other side just the same ornament, but only I overturn the stencil so that it become mirror. And to combine in one work two volume elements of a decor, I make the third between them over the picture.
to tell the truth, and at that stage where we have stopped, the wreck looked very interesting. But the program theme is imitation of bone carving, and I've decided to create a scene similar to antique, therefore we should continue the work. I suggest you to draw off a little and not just so, but gold. For this purpose we need to prepare water acrylic mordant, which is also called as glue for gilding foil. We apply it on the drawing using a toothpick. To tell fairly, it's not so difficult work even for those who don't know how to draw. You just need to make some details of drawing more expressive, for example flowers or lines. You probably want to ask me why it's necessary to do it by a toothpick instead of a brush. In general, I don't insist on a toothpick, as you can paint both, a pin and any other stick which isn't a pity to throw away. But I'm utterly opposed that you spoil the brushes unnecessarily. You will need them later. A plan of mordant, in other words, similar drawing with a toothpick, as I already spoke, isn't very difficult work. But despite this simplicity, it's quite hard and long. Therefore, before to begin to do it, I advise to think what exactly and what details of drawing you want to gild. On the whole painting you have 10 or 15 minutes, no more, and after you will paint all the drawing, in other words, will apply the white milk on it, you put your work aside for 45 minutes. As a rule, this time is quite enough for water acrylic staff that it will settle and will enter into a sticky stage necessary for it. I noticed that this time corresponds exactly to water acrylic mordant. If your glue for gilding foil has another chemical staff, look at curing time at the instruction on the packing. It's important. And it's important because not visually, not to the touch, you can't understand in any way more when it's possible to apply gold on a product, except how to know the time, after all, mordant from the very beginning is sticky and won't become sticky more. However, in a little while, it from white becomes transparent, but there is no guarantee that it has ripened. I hope that I've convinced you of the need to comply with the instructions to such interesting material as glue and milk for gilding foil. I notice that mordant is also named so. And not to waste waiting time in vain, you can do your thing. For example, take a white acrylic paint and paint all product together with a volume decor around the decoupage drawing. I advise to work with a brush, that there will be a possibility to paint over all deepenings after drying of a paint and in 45 minutes after applying of mordant, we take the pieces of gilding foil and put them on drawing, covering it entirely. We smooth the gilding foil by a soft brush from the top, that it will stick to glue. And after that, using a hard and elastic brush, we begin to rub off from the drawing the excesses of gold. As a result, where we have applied the mordants, there will be the gold drawing. So, after you will master drawing by gold, you can continue the work. Again, we take in hands an emery paper and with its help polish the volume decor coated with a white paint. We will have the thin places, through which you can see the color acrylic paste. We brush away a colorful dust, take a piece of foam rubber, which we have dipped in bitumen wax, that it will be possible to rub our egg. We apply wax on all surface, both on gilding and on a paper decor, and on painting by a paint that work become white. And there is more to come. We need to allocate our imitation of bone carving. For this purpose, we take transparent wax, clean foam rubber, and we wrap out the excesses of bitumen from a volume decor, that it will be only in deepening, and we try to clear all other decor, that the product begins to sparkle, in other words, stop being dull. And in this stage, we can consider the work finished.
And it seems to me that today we have wonderfully worked. And that quantity of the information that you have got today will be enough for you to continue to study a theme on imitation of various surfaces independently. Today we made such a wonderful rack, on which we have learned to imitate a bone carving and to draw gold. I very much hope that you liked this program and you, by all means, will use my advices and recommendations for work on your handmade projects. And also, I advise you to try to play with different shades of gilding foil and with the volume decor. I think this process, by all means, will carry you away. After all that, what could be more exciting, as not a flight of fancy and inspiration, when your creative intuition leads you to unexpected opening and findings? And it's not necessary to become happy to find a philosopher's stone. Someone is quite enough to create by own hands the most beautiful work with imitation, for example, an ivory. And with thoughts that saved an elephant, satisfied as bison, to go to bed, that tomorrow, to create something beautiful and unusual, to decorate with it the world. I wish that it all will be in your life and say goodbye to new ideas. With you, there was Natasha Fochtina. Good luck and goodbye.